Hey everyone, this is Blake here with Gorilla Desk, and we're going to take a look at the initial setup for the QuickBooks Sync from Gorilla Desk to QuickBooks Online. And keep in mind, the QuickBooks Sync is only supported for QuickBooks Online. First thing you'll do is go to Settings, and then QuickBooks Sync. Then you're going to click Connect. You'll receive a prompt making sure you're connecting to the same QuickBooks account. This is so if you ever disconnect from QuickBooks and you reconnect, you'll want to make sure that you're using the same email so you'll be connected to the correct account. When we click OK, that will redirect us to QuickBooks where we'll be asked to choose our company. So in my case, I'm going to choose Gorilla Desk. Then we'll click Next and then Connect. From here, we're just going to click back to settings, which will take us right back to Gorilla Desk. And now you'll see that our QuickBooks account is connected to Gorilla Desk. Let's review some of the options that you can enable. The first one will be the tax sync. So if you're using taxes in Gorilla Desk, it's highly recommended to turn this on. If you're using taxes in Gorilla Desk and you do not have this enabled, then your tax will sync over as sales rather than taxes. All right, so if we turn this on, we'll see two options. The first option is best for single tax rates. So if you're only using one tax on your invoices, just say Florida tax, for example, then this is the best option. And this is where you can choose where you would like to map that tax into in QuickBooks. Now, if you're using multiple taxes on an invoice, then you'll want to select this option. And this is where you can map your existing QuickBooks tax groups to Gorilla Desk. All right, so we're going to click this option. And this is because QuickBooks only allows one tax per invoice. So grouping them will allow them all to be combined when they're synced over to QuickBooks. All right, so we're going to choose our section in QuickBooks that we'd like to map them over to. So we'll say tax one, and then we can select our group. We'll say Florida, commercial, and we can say GST. Add. So now all three of these taxes will be grouped together and synced over to the tax one area in QuickBooks. Once you're finished with that part, always click Save. Now, the discount sync will automatically sync discounts into QuickBooks account of your choosing. So whenever you create a new invoice, you'll see the option to add a uh, discount. So if you're using this feature, I would highly recommend turning on the discount sync. All right, and this is where you'll need to select the category you would like the discounts to go into in QuickBooks. So usually it's under discounts given. Even if you're not giving discounts, we still recommend turning it on anyways, um, just in the future if you decide to, or you can disregard. So in this case, we'll go ahead and save. Next is the Stripe Sync, and this is for if you're using Stripe. First, you'll need to enter the bank account, which the Stripe payments are being deposited, then select a category for the fees. So first we'll select our bank account, and then we can select our category for the fees. Usually this is under bank charges. And All right, and the reason for this is, uh, you know, for example, <laughs> when you collect $100 in Gorilla Desk, and you sync it over to QuickBooks, it will be $100 in undeposited, right? But once Stripe deposits that money, it will be 2.9% plus 30 cents less than the original $100. So doing this is, uh, it's done so the payments will be matching even though the fee was taken out. All right, and so we'll go ahead and click Save. Now let's take a look at the credit sync. So if you're using credits for advanced payments or overpayments, we recommend turning this on. 
And this is because you'll typically want the advance payments to show up in the undeposited section in QuickBooks. So if you leave this off, then you can only sync credits once they are applied to an invoice. If this is turned on, you can sync them over as a credit. Right, so if we were to look at an all credits report, we'll see that there isn't an option to sync it as a credit. Okay, now if we jump back over to our QuickBooks Sync panel here, we turn this on. You will be prompted um, letting you know that you have to turn off automatically apply credits in QuickBooks. And we'll take a look at how to do that in just one moment. But for right now, we'll click OK. And if we jump over to the All Credits report, Now you'll see the option that you can sync these over as credits. They do not have to be applied to an invoice now. All right, and again, the most important thing um, is going to be regarding the prompt that we received, and we'll, we'll take a look at that just one more time. When we turn this on, it'll let us know that we need to turn off automatically apply credits in QuickBooks. Okay, and so the way you'll do that is in your QuickBooks account, Click on the gear icon in the top right corner. We're going to click on account and settings. Click advanced on the left. And then the fourth option down will be automation. So we're going to click here to edit. And you'll want to make sure that apply or automatically apply credits is turned off. Okay, so if you leave this on and you start syncing credits, QuickBooks will randomly apply those credits to any open invoice you have in QuickBooks, which will cause a mismatch. And this is because in Gorilla Desk it will be an open credit, but in QuickBooks it will be an applied credit. All right, so if you're using the credit sync, you'll want to make sure that this is turned off and save. Sales of product income uh, is basically the, the category your sales are going into when you sync over to QuickBooks, right? So most of, the, most of the time it is sales or sales of product income. And then we'll save. One last thing I'd like to mention is that if you're using an existing QuickBooks account with customers and invoices already in it, you'll need to make sure that the invoice number is not overlapping with the invoice numbers you have in Gorilla Desk. For example, if you have invoice number 50,000 in QuickBooks, you'll need to start at something like 100,000 in Gorilla Desk to make sure there's no overlap. And really the reason for this is to make sure that the invoice number in Gorilla Desk will not match any invoices you have in QuickBooks. If you start, to, if you start with invoice number 50,000 in QuickBooks, but also have a 50,000 in Gorilla Desk, you'll get an error when syncing that the invoice number already exists. So if they overlap or you think they might overlap, you'll need to open a new invoice and change the invoice sequence in Gorilla Desk. So that can be done by clicking here, adding a new invoice, and this can be deleted after the fact. Um, and this is basically just to reset the invoice sequence. So we're going to click here just to give our customer And so let's say in QuickBooks, our invoice numbers start at 50,000. So in Gorilla Desk, we want to start at 100,000. All right, so now any new invoice we make, uh, the next one would be 101,000, for example. This way you can guarantee there's not going to be any overlap between your invoice numbers in QuickBooks and your invoice number in Gorilla Desk. Okay. So this was just the first part of the initial setup for the QuickBooks Sync. Um, stay tuned for the following videos to learn a little bit more about the Sync itself. And as always, if you have any questions, you can always reach us at 855-536-7470, or you can open a live chat and we'll be more than happy to help. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.